Hey guys, welcome back. We're here again today with the MSMS Deadline video blog series for the class of 2014. That deadline literally is just a few days away. February 14th. Um, 17th. February 17th. Thank you. I've done that twice already. <laughs> February 17th. Calm down. Valentine's Day. I don't know why I got those confused. They have nothing to do with each other. Anyway, this is Mr. Rick Smith, who is the Director of Admissions at the Mississippi School for Math and Science. Some of you probably know him. Some of you have probably already communicated with him a little bit. But I wanted to bring him on today to kind of introduce himself to you and talk a little bit about uh, the application. So, Mr. Smith, how are you doing, sir? Doing well, thank you. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good. Uh, how are applications looking so far? They're looking good. Uh, they're still coming in. We've, we've got room for people to continue applying, but we're okay. getting some good applications. What issues are you seeing kids run into so far this year? Uh, of course, always the work sample. Right. You know, wh what do I do on the work sample? Uh, we're still getting quite a few that are, oh my goodness, I haven't taken the ACT yet. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't taken the ACT, we need to get you into a residual ACT like immediately. Uh, February 10th, MUW is giving a residual here uh, on campus in Columbus. Uh, those are probably the two biggest issues. Okay. So the what are the biggest challenges um, not so much, you know, the work sample or, oh, I can't get this done, but just sort of the silly mistakes you're seeing in applications. Uh, not proofreading your essays right. <laughs> uh, and, your, and your narratives. Uh, take a little time. Remember, your, your application essays, your narrative should be absolutely the best work that you can possibly do. Mm. Get other people to proofread it, point out mistakes. Don't let them fix it for you, but let them point out mistakes to you so that you can go back and fix those. Get the quality up to the point that it's something you're really proud of because basically what you're doing with the application is selling yourself right. to the application review committee. And you know a lot of people are obviously dragging their feet mm -hmm. on this application and you know I mean I know I was a 10th grader once I assume you were at some point. <laughs> Way back. Down the line and procrastination just kind of seems to go with the, the age these kids who are sitting on the fence and dragging their feet, what do you want to say to them? Okay, two things I'd like to say. Number one, if you're not sure if you should apply or not, then the answer is simple. You need to apply. Uh, if you're selected, you can always turn, turn your selection down, mm -hmm. change your mind. Uh, you'll come to campus for an interview. You'll come back to campus again for new student orientation. You'll have an opportunity to meet the kids that are going to be in your class. Then after you've done all of that, you can decide, you can make a more informed decision about whether or not you want to apply. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'd say is every year I have some very high quality applicants who don't make it past application review. And the reason they don't is they wait too long, they try to throw an application together quickly, and they send it in and it doesn't present themselves well. Now, can you put a good application together in two or three days? Absolutely. If you're that dedicated and can devote the time and energy to it, it can be done. Do I mm -hmm. recommend it? <laughs> Absolutely not. You need to take close to a week probably just to give yourself time to write an essay, sure. proofread it, and come back. But everybody's different, so everybody's mm -hmm. going to have a different way of getting it done. Absolutely. The, the, the key is to get it done and make sure that at the end of the process it's something you're proud of. Right. Something that you believe presents yourself in a positive manner. Another thing that we always get uh, on Friday the 17th, the deadline, we're going to start getting calls going, I just finished my application, I can't get it to you, can I drive it down? It just has to be postmarked yes, yes. by the 17th. Thank you. Or you can email it to either apply at MSMS or admissions at MSMS. You can email it you know, up until midnight that night, right. and it's still fine. And those links and email addresses are right here. If you're at the website, they're right here on the website. Mm -hmm. Just just look over there. Um, and that leads me to something I preach all the time, which is do not just accept on faith that everything <laughs> got here. Give us a call. Yes. We're really nice, y'all. We really are. Miss Sheila, who was on here earlier, she loves talking to you guys, and we would much, much rather you get in touch with us because I can promise you one thing. I will help you out, and Mr. Rick will help you out, and Ms. Sheila will help you out as much as we possibly can, but we are not going to hold anybody's hand, okay? And if you have questions, give us any questions. You know, Give us a call. We'll be glad to Absolutely. give We can give you advice. 
There you go. There you go. All right, as always, guys, follow us on Twitter. Find us on Facebook. If you're not at the website, you should be, www.themsms.org. February 17th, right? February 17th. February 17th. Okay, sophomores, get it done. And good luck. And good luck. Thank you, Mr. Rick. Thank you. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.